Good evening. Hello. How are you? Hello, good evening, Hello. teacher. <clears throat> How are you tonight? Oh, very, very well. I feel, I feel very, very well. Awesome, awesome. Okay, you can start the class. Come on, guys, you have four minutes. Come on. Okay, I don't want to talk today. Today is Friday and the body knows it. Come on, say hello to a classmate as usual. Break the ice. Can you hear me? Yes, Johnny, thank you. Hello, good evening. Hi, people. How are you? Johnny. How are you, man? Good evening. Good evening. What's going on? Hey. What's going on? Nice. Commentary about the soccer match of Celeb. <laughs> any comments? Uh -huh. Any comments about the soccer match? Yeah, good. Good match. Yeah, what? Fernando no sabare. <laughs> it was a good match and we deserve uh, to win. So uh, that is a how do you say uh, agri dulce? Sour. Better sweet. Better sweet. Yeah. Uh, uh, um, fle um, better sweet taste, algo así como decir un sabor agradable. A bitter, a bitter sweet taste, a bitter sweet taste. And uh, the sour is El Salvador, El Salvador played better than United States, but then the uh, United the, States, the United States, but the the the, the soccer isn't a sport that. You deserve the one. You have to to score, and if you you want to win, so we don't score. So in our home, we we must win in our home. Okay. Okay, can somebody ask Fernando what happened to you yesterday? What happened to you yesterday? Uh, to be honest, I I got out to to see in, in a, a friend's house the soccer match <gasps> of yesterday. So <laughs> okay, I went I went out with some friends. Okay. Well, there's nothing better than honesty. Just don't forget, uh, don't miss any other class because that was those were 120 minutes less. Okay. <laughs> there's a countdown at the end. Okay. So let's do the attendance. You don't want to speak. Let's do the attendance. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. 
Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Fátima y Fegenia López Ramos. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Antonio Cubías Hernández. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. Present. ¿Quién? Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Ok. So, you don't want to speak, but we're in an English class and I think it's very important for you to practice. No matter what, but practice. So let's do it together. Okay. okay. I need, Jocelyn, an open question. You choose the topic. At this point, you know what we have started. At this point, you're in intermediate two, you know what grammar tenses you have learned. So help me, Jocelyn, make an open question. Okay. What did you do yesterday? You see. What did you do yesterday? What did you do yesterday? Okay. Just something, can you tell me a number between one and 21? Me, teacher, sorry. Yeah. Let's say okay, a number. Okay, sorry, it's because you can me here and I can not hear you very well. Okay. Well, my favorite number, seven. Seven. Fatima, <laughs> okay, Fatima is not here, another number. Okay, uh, 19. 19, yourself, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? No, what? come on. Come on, what? another number, give me another number, okay. 12. 12, Juan Marcos is not here. Now oh, come on. <laughs> one more, one more ten. Johnny, yes. okay. Johnny Vladimir, <laughs> ten. What did you do yesterday, Johnny? Yesterday, I don't remember. So I can see. Him. Do me a favor. Uh, Make it up. Make it up. Uh, Invéntatelo. Ah. Uh, try and see. Uh, I went to Chalchuapa City uh, and after I went to Aguachapan mm -hmm. and there in Aguachapan uh, I visited the central part of Aguachapan and I ate uh, some typical food of there and I went to visit the the I don't remember how you say Laguna Lake the lake mm -hmm. Spino is cool um so strange that that's late. That's late. And I I went to 
to visit a friend of there. He's liar. And I asked him asked him about the problem he had with the with the song client about the demand for to the company because they had they had a, a DAO with the company. However, they don't pay and they say that the the company their company is broken what is the principal reason because they don't pay and however to evaluate that situation is true and we had to visit here and the and we had to give a report about the situation if is it is true or false that a company is broken and that report had to give my boss because he had to evaluate if we had to cover or we had to to uh, take like a, a loss that credit. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Johnny. Okay. I tried some typical food of there. We I went to visit a friend of there. You're translating from Spanish to English, de allí. Right, so how else can we say this, guys? I'm asking you all to help me, okay? Everybody, how else can I say de allí? I went to eat some typical food. From there. From there. From there. Come on, be more native. Think. <laughs> there. Get there. Hmm. Hmm. I went to eat some typical food. Mm, I went to eat some local typical food. Hmm. I went to eat some local typical food. I went to eat some typical food. How do you say um, native of native of the city or proper? Typical. Some, it's just, yeah, it's just a typical food refers to the food of the place, right? Some local typical food. Yeah, local food. Okay. Traditional. Yeah, some traditional food better. Okay. I went there. Uh, yeah, I ate some traditional food of the place. I went to visit a friend who lives there. Who lives there. Okay. Got it, Johnny? Okay. Area of improvement for this group, EV endings. I asked him, I asked him, okay, I asked him, him, okay, I asked him, he has a doubt. This customer has a debt, okay, he has a debt with the company, okay. That is the principal reason that they don't pay. Help me, guys. This is, this is from Spanish to English. That is the principal reason. The main reason. Excellent. That's and the main the reason. Mm -hmm. Jocelyn? Mm -hmm. The main reason? They didn't pay. Is mm -hmm. they were talking, they, he was talking in past. The main right. reason they didn't pay. They didn't pay, yes. That was the main reason why 
they didn't pay, they don't pay, uh -huh. they don't pay, they didn't pay, eh, they don't pay. That was the main reason why they don't pay the company. That was the main reason why they don't pay their debt. They don't pay their, their debt. Okay, repeat, Johnny. Situation. Situation. There you go. Situation. Situation. Shen. Shen. Situation. Situation. And repeat. Education. 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 Better. Vacation. Jenny. Okay. Vacation. What? Vacation. 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 Repeat. Information. Better. Information. Shen, shen, shen. Okay, now this coherence. That report have to give my boss someone? To my boss. But, okay, that report have to give to my boss. To to my boss. Okay. That it's report. Him. Okay. That report have to give to my boss. Who? To give. I. Quiero que se sientan como me siento yo. Okay. <laughs> Cuando tengo que detectar sus áreas de mejora. A ver, encontremos la lógica de esta oración. ¿Qué intentó decir Johnny? Y para phrase. Vamos, vamos, vamos. You can do it. ¿Cómo que? Que se tuvo que? que reportar con su jefe. Mm. No, ese reporte, mm -hmm. yo no, lo, que, como lo que yo creo, uh -huh. y ahí está el punto, miren, ese es el, el trabajo de un profesor, identificar qué es lo que el alumno quería decir. Yo, yo entendí que ese reporte se lo tenía que dar a mi jefe. Right, Johnny? Yeah. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ese reporte se lo tenía que dar a mi jefe. So, uh, how do you say that? I have to give it my report to my boss. El it, no lo no necesito. I have to give, me refiero a ese sí. reporte, eso estaba bien, Johnny. Ahí. I have to give that report to my boss. Okay. I had to give that report to my boss. Ahora, eh, ¿qué pasó entonces? El sujeto. Ok. El verbo en pasado. Ok. I had to give that report to my boss. Uh, teacher. Yeah. If I say the report must be must be delivered to my boss, it will be acceptable. They are complicating things, but yes, that report must have been given to my boss. Uh, yeah. That's a boy. Um, no, that's um, indirect speech. Mm -hmm. That has been given to my boss. Yeah, no, but it's part passive voice too. I mean, it's that means God. Okay, yeah, person perfect with passive voice. Ah, that's crazy. Okay, good job. Okay, Johnny, make a question. Mm. Any sen any, any tense? Any tense? Uh -huh. What is your any tense? Uh, what are your favorite program? TV program? TV program. Okay, what's your favorite TV program? Give me a number between one and 21. Eight? Eight? Yeah. Fatima Ifigenia. Oh, no, 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 wait, Fernando Ernesto. Okay, fair. What's your favorite TV program? Mm, usually I, I don't watch TV, but I, I had watched TV before. So uh, I remember the, the, the the, my favorite program was uh, in my when I was a child. 
uh, I'd like to, to, to see, to watch. Uh, 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 ¿Cómo se dice? How do you say? Car caricatura. Cartoons. I, I watch cartoons like uh, Dragon Ball Z, Dexter, uh, so many cartoons that I, I watch that cartoons in the Cartoon Network, the channel. And now I, I like, I like to, I like to watch uh, TV series like uh, uh, Luke Cage, Jessica Jones, uh, and uh, that are in Netflix. I, 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 I have watch uh, too many series in on Netflix. So, and in the TV, I like uh, I like to to watch a uh, soccer match. That that is the the reason for for uh, getting TV cable cable TV. Um, that's it. Easy, you got it. Okay, repeat. I liked. I liked. I like to watch cartoons as a child. Mm -hmm. As a child, okay. Um, a child. I watched that cartoons in the Cartoon Network the channel. Okay, I need your help again, Andy. guys. Alan, try it. Correct the sentence. Someone else, come I, I on. Used, I, I, used to, I, I used to watch cartoon on Cartoon Network. Yeah, that would be an option. I used to watch cartoons. I don't need to say that cartoons because that is for singular. You could have said those or this. Those, 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 yes. those cartoons. Now, is it in, Alan? On. On. <laughs> yes. On the, okay, the Cartoon Network channel. On the Cartoon Network channel or counter or on Cartoon Network channel. You don't need the article as far as the types, remember. There are in Netflix. I think you were trying to say they are on Netflix. It's on, like I say, fortunately, I found it in Netflix. Fortunately, I found them on Netflix, yes. Nowadays, okay. everything is on uh, streaming programs and um, yep every time you use an electronic device fernando and everyone you say on on the computer okay. on a website everything okay. that is digital where do you receive your classes on a computer on or zoom. cell phone on zoom on zoom okay on zoom through zoom okay through zoom Via on zoom. online online now it all makes sense okay online on a computer at home in my house etc very good oh my god okay Miguel I think he left already okay it's okay Miguel es, es muy importante es okay good <clears throat> okay, let's continue. So in today's program, in today's show, first step, we need to remind ourselves, how is it running a focus group? Okay, let's remember, what is a focus group again? What is a focus group? It's a focus group. A principal group? It's a customer group or consumer group? 
A consumer's group, okay, yeah. What do we do with a focus group? Why do we need a focus group? For me. To, to get uh, any opinions or feedback uh, from the customers or consumers that use or, or get that products. Mm. I have a question for everybody. Do they get the real product on the focus group? No. No. But mm -hmm. they know the, the brand or... Mm -hmm. Prototype. They get, a prototype. they get a prototype. Yes. They get a prototype, remember, so they can taste it. Okay. So we're going to do this fun. Okay. Let's do this a little bit dynamic, dynamically. Uh, let's get in groups and determine how you will run, um, how you will run a focus group. What's going to be the product? And I insist, again, remember, you have some products that you have created. How are you going to make the focus group, you know, what are they going to test? Yesterday, we finished the class with a classification, remember? We had a classifications of relevance. Yeah. A ranking. A ranking on page 26. What is more important, we said, to verify the functionality, to review the initial product shapes, elicit feedback from customers. So based on that, how are you going to manage the focus group? What, what will be the first thing that you want them to see? Now, use your product always as an example, okay? The beer, the app of Fernando, um, the other products, the shoes, I think, somebody made shoes. Okay, the lollipop. <laughs> okay, use the product and determine what kind of focus group you will run. Okay, and what will be the most relevant thing to find out? Questions? No. <laughs> no, okay, give me a minute. Oh, Cloud is here, good, okay. Welcome, Claudia. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Luis and Claudia, please, let's go. Teacher. Hey. Sorry, I I don't know. I, I don't, I didn't, I didn't see the, the class yesterday. I don't oh. know what is that topic. Okay. Let's see. Where are you guys? Here we are. Okay. Well, basically, the the chart that you have on your chat on your chat on your WhatsApp group is what we understood yesterday. We were running a focus group, which is like getting a group of people. Um, let's say a sample of the people, the customers that are going to try the prototype of your products. So. That's what we did yesterday. We talked about how it works, why do you need a focus group, what are the advantages of running a focus group on a new product. And then at the end of the class, we did that. We ranked the level of importance, you know. Mm -hmm. the, the level of importance, uh, the the pen each, uh, the focus group. Yes. Yes, and that's the mission of the focus group to identify any flaws that were not identified before on the on the design stage. Okay. Are you understanding me? Are you getting it? Yeah. 
Le voy a dar otra cosa. Ahí tengo información para ello. Right. I'm going to check the messages. Ok. Un ratito, mamá, ya lo voy a dar. Let me see. Okay, so that's what we're doing right now. Uh, basándose en su, en, su, en su producto, identificar yeah. qué, qué es, uh, cuál sería la mejor opción para el focus group. Qué sería lo que buscarían que el focus group identifique dentro de su producto. O sea, que lo prueben, cómo lo van a probar. Eh, y dentro de este listado de ranking, como obtener, ¿qué, ¿qué es lo más importante para ustedes basándose en su producto? Verificar la funcionalidad del producto, revisar uh, las formas o las imágenes que va a llevar el producto. right Ok. Eso, okay. eso es para eso sirve el focus group. Entonces, uh, ¿cómo creen que les diría? Si fuese un focus group ahorita, ¿cómo les diría con ese test? Eh, ¿Qué producto? Elijan ustedes un producto. Si no han elegido uno hasta ahorita, pues trabajen en equipo para poder encontrar. Estaba Claudia en este grupo. Ya le voy a solicitar que se una. Ok. Thank you. Ok. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Recording in progress. Hello. Recording hey, stop. ¿Dónde no había? Yo, yo no estuve ayer. ¿En qué página se quedaron aquí? Um, it was page 26. 26. Yeah, pero no llevamos un, llevamos un orden aleatorio en las clases. El día de hoy ah, es okay. vocabulary practice. Y vamos a aplicar un, un focus group a alguno de los productos que ustedes hayan um, creado con anterioridad. Lo que vamos a hacer es ver basados en el ranking que vimos ayer en este que estoy en Fernando ahorita um, qué es lo más importante en relación a su producto um, ¿qué, qué información es más importante de obtener del focus group basándose en su producto mm, ok thank you teacher you're welcome ok, what will be the product that we will choose we have different products here in my case we Okay. Yeah, because of the motion, first you had to the functionality. Functionality. Function Fun the product. Functionality. Functionality. The product. Of the product. The hmm. What's the product? The product. Uh, uh, we don't are. have products. Okay, let's <laughs> think about a product right now. Pensemos en un producto, eso es fácil. Pensemos en un producto, eh, el que sea, ¿no? Y luego elegimos cuál es el... Um, el, el um... No, 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 no. It's just the rank, el ranking que hicimos ayer. Um, what is the most relevant advantage. ¿Cuál es el, el, la ventaja más relevante que vamos a obtener de llevar a cabo el focus group en ese producto? Oh, Recuerden okay. que el focus group nos va, nos va a tirar cierta información. O sea, las personas que lo prueben, el prototipo de nuestro producto, nos van a dar cierta información. Y pues, ¿qué es lo más relevante que esperamos ¿no? dentro de toda esa información que nos van a dar? That's the point. Ok. So, okay. um, por ejemplo, un ejemplo, eh, quiero probar una lámpara de, que yo utilizo para hacer la presentación de las clases, el stand, que lo manoseen, como decimos en español, y que me digan, ok, lo más relevante sería eh, probar grabando un video, ¿no? Y pues la funcionalidad de la lámpara, a ver cuánto tiempo dura, dejarla encendida quizás unas 48 horas y ver cómo funciona, cómo reacciona la lámpara, a ver si no se calienta, etc. Right? That's ¿Cómo es el tipo, yeah. es el tipo de luz? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. es, es un ejemplo, es un ejemplo. So, basándose en su producto, que sería lo más relevante de información que obtendría de, de feedback de, del focus group. Okay. Okay. 
De brócoli, creo. Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Eh, A ver, eh, ¿qué estamos haciendo? Número una... uno, elegir el producto que vamos a trabajar. Número, yes. número dos, elegir uh, las ventajas que nos van a ayudar eh, del focus group. Es decir, el ranking que hicimos ayer había que clasificar las ventajas eh, que nos daba el focus group. Entonces, basado en ese ranking y el tipo de producto que tengo, ¿cuál será la mayor ventaja para mí basándome en mi producto? Es decir, si yo voy a probar un mouse con un focus group, un nuevo mouse que he creado, le doy el prototipo al focus group, ¿Qué sería lo más importante eh, que ellos resaltarían? La funcionalidad del producto, la comodidad del producto en el, en el uso. ¿Sí? ¿Ok? Bien. Ok. ¿Cómo es su focus group? Basándose en el producto. Es decir, ¿qué tipo de personas he elegido como sample, como ejemplo? Como muestra, perdón, de la población a la que va dirigido el producto. ¿A qué población iría dirigido? Por eso es importante definir primero qué producto voy a utilizar para este ejemplo. A ahorita viene Alexander para ayudarles más. ¿Ok? Bien. Ok. So, first verify the functionality. Then... Yes. Uh, in the case of the 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 fear pops or Alan, that that is the, the first always. O sea, that ese siempre sería tu primero, según tú. Um, I was reading the, the top. Uh, um, I'm not mm. sure. I well. Uh, Review initial product shape or branding image. I guess it's the first one. Mm -hmm. I didn't come yet. For, for the lot, what will be that one? Review initial product you, shape or initial, branding image. When, when, you, when, when you do the, the shape or branding, if it's because you have already the product finished. The product is easy to, to uh, for example, the shape is like umbrella. You don't have to design anything else. We are Add, you, so you, you do the product, the prototype and the shape and branding at the same, at the same time. Uh, I guess because if you uh, figure it out the it's a traditional uh, um, say it? uh, you know it is a lollipop like uh, uh, with a shape of a umbrella right it's traditional you see in you say lollipop umbrella your mind is like ah I know what is that is uh, that uh, we can cover um, that point. Maybe it's, uh, you have the brand, Brella Lollipop. Yes, I guess uh, you can cover those functionality and the shape and branding. Um, the, sure, most, but... the most important thing, I guess, is obtain more detail. How can you describe it to attract people? Because uh, we are uh, like uh, it's a traditional thing. You say, ah, it's boring because it's traditional. I know it, but we need to, to focus on. Uh, hey, so if, if, if you hey, have a if you have a focus group, it's very important that you can describe. Uh, Effectively, your your idea to the customers or consumers. Yeah, it's okay. the main thing that because if you get those ideas, you can improve the product or not the product in 
instead of we you can uh, take an idea how can um how can i say that the marketing can work mm. okay sure. yes sorry but he wants to learn english <laughs> So the first oh, point, the, the first point to to view in the in the focus group is verify the, the functionality of the product. Hmm. He mentioned that the first one for him is review initial product versus branding image because That's it the, should be more attractive for mm. the customer to buy, not just because it's just a simple lollipop, even mm. has alcohol. <laughs> and, uh, he mentioned that this is the first one because wants to call customers' mm. attention. Maybe when, when the, the customers now, the, now the, the, the product, they, they can give a, a better uh, feedback. For the yes. reason, it's they, very important that they they understand uh, what is the product, uh, what was made, what raw material was made, um, the brand, the, the uh, what 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 going, you know, what will be the design for that product. Mm, okay. I'll give an example. The traditional umbrella lollipop, you know it, right? Yes. It's common. For example, you so, know so. Uh, a traditional fried chicken, right? We don't have to say the brand because it's prohibited or something. Okay, it's fine. Okay, but when I say uh, chicken fried, you know or you're thinking about uh, brand and specific, right? Yes. Okay. But if you change the name and you sell it uh, cheaper than the other brand, it's going to maybe it's going to be the same product but the different name, right? Yes. And in this case, these lollipops are the same as traditional lollipops, but as an ingredient, then the people say, hey, this is interesting. I need a focus group and a specific focus group because we need to, um, uh, for example, you are not focused, focused to, the, to the child because it's not, it's not designed for a child because we, we need, for example, a group of person that 18 to uh, 14, I don't know, if, and know what they think about the product. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the flavors, I don't know. The, because the colors. Change, the colors, yeah. If you change the, the shape of the product, you are completely change all the main idea. You're completely changing the main idea. Very good, guys. Great job. That's what I want to hear. People talking. Thank you. <laughs> when, when I imagine a, a lollipop umbrella, I remember that that lollipops, uh, these, not necessarily, these lollipops uh, uh, are covered by a plastic uh, what comes as a plastic? Plastic bag. Plastic bag. Plastic bag or, or sometimes for covered by a... Covered. That's the reason. That's the reason. Uh, That's the reason of the problem. I need you back to the childhood when you go to the store and say, hey, I want a lollipop, an umbrella lollipop. But now the, you grow out and you need a lollipop with a call, right? That's yes, it. Uh, and the seller is usually a, a man with a 
a, a pack of, of yeah you, you say oh, a they say dura packs you, you say say like a a dura through bag a through bag and say oh my child in the childhood I buy those lollipop in the store and oh actually, I I used would, to buy I used to buy uh, those lollipop right and actually I'm uh i want uh, i see the the commercial tv uh, uh commercial to advertisement advertisement say, hey, mm -hmm. advertisement and i well I, I need it because i gave um a beautiful moment i don't know something like that to attract the people right and usually the the lollipops are cheap yes cheap. of course Cheaper than in a commercial center the, the or mall. The materials are not so, not too fancy because it's easy. It's just tolerant, alcohol, water. Do it, <laughs> please. Go ahead. No more. And you can take it. The you can put the idea inside the people that hey, I eat it in my childhood, right? Yes. I need a focus group. I need the, the ideas of those focus groups. What are the main things that I think they, they are thinking about the product? In uh, it, starting from the, the, the feeling that they know the age. Or we can do it in a different way. In the, for example, uh, it's like an adult party. And they say, oh, lollipops, something like that. Because you are, your tradition is beers or, or, but when you say, hey, it's a, it's a lollipop. Yeah, but that's all. Oh, that's a different idea, but. Hola. Okay, so here we go. Tell me, what were the most important advantages of doing a focus group on your product? And what's your product first? And what were the most important advantages that you will get from uh, conducting a, a focus group. It sounds complex, but it's not complex. It's just a group of people trying a new product and telling you, hey, you know what, this, this smells funny, this looks awful, or even worse, hey, you know what? I have seen this cell phone before. And this is a new cell phone, really? It looks like the Samsung, I don't know, A32 is just identical. Oh. And it's a new product? Nah, really? Okay. So tell me, what are the advantages that you found? Teacher, mm -hmm. and uh, Fatima and me? Mm -hmm. And the new product and the ergonomic shoes. Okay. And the and the um, people and uh, objective people is the um, people que se mantienen. Uh, what do you say? Que se mantienen trabajando más de ocho horas parados. Okay. So okay. the sample will be people who work standing over eight hours, who work standing over eight hours a day. Going on and the people over in standing eight hours a day. And 
a day. And the advantage and the comodidad, comodidad. Comf comfort, comfort, comfort. Comfort, comfort, yeah. Comfort, the comfort. and the elegance and the style. Style. Mm -hmm. Style. And what do you say? Mal olor de pies también. How, how do you say? <laughs> how do you say? <laughs> okay, how do you say? You, uh, pies olorosos, smelly feet. Smelly feet. A smelly Thank feet. You. And the um, expensive, um, more expensive. Mm -hmm. Okay, so all of and these will be identified by your focus group. If the shoes are expensive, if they are really comfortable, if they are really comfortable. Mm -hmm. And variety the colors. Color variety. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's been, uh, that's been tajas. The disadvantages, okay. Disadvantages is a uh, mm, no. Uh, what do you say? No disponible para todos. How do you Is say no disponible para todos, guys? How do you say not available, not available for for everyone? For everyone, everyone. very good. Not available yeah. for everyone. Very good. Yeah, okay. Only. That's it. Great job. No, no sé si Fátima quisiera agregar algo más, pero creo que nos quedamos allá medios. <ríe> Fátima? No. Only teacher. Thank you. Okay. okay. Thank you. Great job. Someone else about your product. What's your product? And what are the advantages or disadvantages you found by running a focus group? In my group, um, they were they were talking about motorcycles, and motorcycles has motorcycle has uh, take advantage of the of the traffic sometimes because you can get to your work on time in a in a short time actually but the disadvantage about it is are that when because you are not you are not protect you have not pro you have no protection you are not you protected no, yeah you are not protected to another or others vehicles from other vehicles right. yeah Protect because vehicles. you are exposed to to fall down to fall off fall, to fall yeah to fall and get your leg or your arm broke broken get injured broken. and get, get injured and get injured mm -hmm. yeah and these are some of disadvantage about it. These are some of the disadvantages about it. Very good. Saben cuál ha sido mi trabajo más difícil? Interprete. Sí, porque el acento y esto, ojo con esto, no lo tomen a mal, sino más bien, huelenle ojo en su vida personal. Así como hablas en español, vas a hablar inglés. ¿Y por qué esto? Eh, porque tú puedes llamarle de una manera a algo y no ese es el nombre. Por ejemplo, mis hijos ya se acostumbraron a decir la cobija. Y es la sábana. No se dice cobija. Las canillas. No se dicen las canillas. Right? So, ah, son, uh, ya, yeah, son como, uh, ¿qué sería? Modismos que nosotros tenemos. Y pues... Así fuimos creciendo sin, pero ¿cómo corrijo esto? Lee en español. Te va a dar risa, pero lee en español. Así, cualquier cosa que le hace en español. Claro, algo impreso, ¿no? Un libro. Y eso te no, va a ayudar pero, mucho. Incluso, este, suele pasar que cuando estamos con las personas que estamos, con las que nos, nos tenemos confianza y todo, le llamamos una cosa, pero cuando hablamos seriamente, le, sabemos que tenemos que cambiarle, sabemos cómo se dice en realidad. 
y no lo hacemos porque al final cuando estamos con la gente es como que no nos importa, pero cuando estamos ya hablando seriamente sí decimos las palabras como son. Está ah, bueno. El grado de confianza que tenés con las personas dictamina qué lenguaje vas a ocupar. Imagínate cómo es tu cerebro. Te cambias. Soy yo mismo. No pretendo ser otra persona ahorita. Ok. So, te invito a que seas otra persona cada vez que interactúes en inglés. Así. Va. Gracias. Thank you, Fernando. That was my point. Ok. Uh, just one more. We are only missing four minutes for the next stage of the class. So. One more product. I want to hear you guys. Come on, one more product and where you have identified advantages and disadvantages of your product. Remember, the point is, what is the most important thing to evaluate from a focus group? You know, what do you, what do you expect them to find? on your product. Just one more. No. Okay. Someone talked about branding. And yes, I think the first impression is the most important part on a focus group. When they see the product, How does it look? What does it look like? Does it look weird? I don't know. It looks really weird. You know, the bottle, I don't like the shape of the bottle, the shape of the container. It looks really weird. So, okay. Then the feeling, how does it feel? How does it smell? How does it taste? If it is a product, a food product, okay. So all of these things are, will come out of the focus group and let you know, hey, you know what? Um, the taste of your product, I don't like it. I really don't like it. ¿Ya han probado comida que sabe jabón? No, yet. Not yet, really? Not yet. <laughs> no. Okay. okay. No. Um, <laughs> Eso pasa cuando la producto es producida en, 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 en masa. Es decir, en, en una línea de ensamblaje o algo. Eh, no sé si muchos productos del súper pueden tener ese sabor raro de prefabricado. Ajá, es bien, es bien raro, no sé. Uh, so, es una idea, ¿no? ¿Por qué no se detectó eso? Ok. ¿Por qué no se cambia eso? Porque... No se me viene a la mente ningún producto ahorita, pero sí ya me ha pasado con, con ciertos productos y yo me quedo, uy, this tastes rigor, I mean, weird. I don't know. Why don't they change it? Quizá nadie les ha dado el feedback and that's the point. Okay, let me do the attendance and then we move on with the next point of the schedule. Ada Cáceres, I'm sorry, Ada, Susana Cáceres Mendoza. Present. Alexander de Jesús Sánchez Soto. Present. Alan Christopher Abrego Brizuela. Present. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Claudia Marisela Solano Crespín. Claudia. Elvin Arcides Eguizabal Martínez. Present. Fátima y Fegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Okay. Johnny, Porti Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Carla Yaneta May Herrera. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. Thank you. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante, Roberto Luis Humaño Orellana, Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores, Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Manu, uh, Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verdes, tuvo que retirar. Rina Marisabel Álvarez de Chávez. Ok. Good, good. Gracias por estar conmigo este día, chicos. Realmente les aprecio mucho en ese sentido. No dejarme solo hablando, aunque sí lo hacen, aunque estén en la clase. Pero...
Come on, guys. <laughs> ya tienen que hablar, señores. Han venido acá a hablar inglés o no? So, hagan el intento. Ya. Yeah. Ya. Somos adultos y nadie se va a reír de ustedes. Espero que ya hayamos comprendido eso, ¿verdad? Ok. So, we have to build vocabulary in this unit. Ok. You need to go online to find out more about key terms related to product testing. And then write a sentence using each key term. What is targeted sample? Targeted sample. Random sample. Competitive threat. Very important, very interesting. Competitive threat. Unbeas. Unbeas. I don't know what does that mean. I don't remember what is unbeas. Okay, so use each one of these terms to build a sentence on each chart. This is your page 23, page 23. And look at the next mission that you will have. You need to organize a plan to run a focus group to assess customers' perception of the new product you design on lesson, lesson one. Specify the steps the type of sample suitable for the product, the number of the focus group, the number of participants per group. I'm sorry, the number of focus groups. Um, porque puedes tener más de un grupo foco. Un grupo, um, ¿qué sería? Un grupo foco, sí. Okay. Focal. Uh, sorry? Es grupo focal. Grupo focal, right? Es que me da miedo de decirlo, Sandra, porque me, me da miedo cuando hablo en español como que me voy a equivocar. <laughs> a mí me pasa lo mismo que ustedes en inglés, ya ven. Okay, the number of focus groups that you will have. Number of participants per group. The location. <laughs> Where? The type of test. Hmm, we saw tests before. The number of items in the questionnaire. So you conduct a questionnaire at the end of the focus group. Okay, we can build a questionnaire, simple. And then we will present the class, uh, the plan to the class. So number one, let's find the, the meaning of each term, use it in a sentence, and then we will plan, okay, our focus group to assess customers. So let's go with step number one, number six on page 23. Find the meaning of these words and build sentences with it let's see how many are we yeah let's go Claudia, if you can hear me, please let's join Alvin too. Let's go. We had to. The meaning of the term. What is the target sample? Go online to find out more key terms related to uh, product testing. Right, so, 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 so. Target sample. Target sample. Okay. 
Worries. Terms. Terms. Target is. I don't know. Target sample is for a specific group. Yeah, specific group. Random sample for aleatory. Aleatory. In competitive. 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 A competitive threat. Threat. Mm, like uh, yeah, the, comparators. I pronounce, yeah, compare a specific, aleatory, comparative, and what, what, how you pronounce ambiguous, ambiguous, ambiguous. Unbi unbiased, unbiased. Um, I'm unbiased. pretty sure it's unbiased, uh-huh. Unbiased, and what is the... Unbiased. Imparcial. Unbiased. Oh. On the unbiased. 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 Remember, you need to use them in a sentence. Mm. Okay. Okay. You have to create sentence. We oui. no, have to choose. We had to set target sample. For right. getting information. Honestly, I didn't catch this word. The answer of what? Impartial? I didn't catch the last word. I mean, everything about this topic. All, all can be cho chosen. You need to um, just build sentences with each. Um, concept, target, targeted sample, random sample, competitive threat, and unbiased. Once yeah, you, I know. Uh -huh, once you have the definition, uh huh. Only definition. Yes, yeah, just the find the definition no. first, and then make a sentence using the words. These words. So, for example. Um, I think we, we should choose the targeted sample because that will give us a, a better idea of our niche of market, you know, the people that are interested in a product or will be interested in a product if we choose a targeted sample. But if we choose a random sample, then we may get a vague idea, an idea about a vague idea of uh, the, the, their feedback, because they don't, they won't be interested in the product, right? Okay. Estamos hablando de sample the people, people sample. So Can if you you're, see? uh huh, all the people that enter. So the what's show? your product? What's your product again? One of your products. <laughs> We we don't have decided the pro. We, we haven't decided. We haven't decided which product. Okay, so but well, for example, if your product is beers, is a cell phone. Okay, it is a cell phone. Mm. Okay, that's difficult. What's better, what? a, a target <laughs> sample or a random sample? Target sample. Why? If it is just a, a cell phone, I mean, anybody could use a cell phone. A cell phone. Um, but what if the cell phone is pink? It's a pink cell phone. Mm. 
with a mirror on the screen. Mm. <laughs> and there is a cell phone like that. There is, a, there was a cell phone like that. Really? Yes. I've never seen. He but said, he said, was selling it. In this case, we, we need to show to choose uh, a product first, Frank. then we are going to select. Uh, no, I was just giving you an example on how to build the sentence, right? Because, yeah, just to, to build the sentence, but keep always keep in mind your product because that's the second part that we will do it later. So first, find the meaning of the concept, targeted sample, random sample, competitive threat, unbiased, and then make a sentence on each one of them. Okay. <laughs> it's not the definition, it's just the sentence using these words. Okay, got it. Good, good. Target some definition. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. it, it, a competitive street has a probably and it, it, it will be a, a, I don't know if it's a damage or no, but it, it will impact in the product because you are comparing different brands or whatever it will be. But in this case, it, it happens. You can omit that point because it is, uh, unless your product is never, uh, never, uh, how can I say that? It's new, it's, a, it's an invent, it's something uh, no one do it before, but Mm -hmm. and um, um, the last um, one, I don't yes. know. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, biased, um, biased, no sé cómo. Biased. Mm. Biased. Oh, biased. Biased. Mm. Biased. Yeah. Biased. Mm. What does bias mean? Impartial. 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 How can we? Uh, once you have the definition of each uh, concept, you need to create a sentence with that. We need a sample of consumers unbiased okay. to the product. Okay. We have to deploy a target sample for our product before start the, the production. The mass uh, production, the mass the production. Mass production. Correcto. <laughs> and how can I say the competitive treats? Uh, the competitive treats, it's Most of the time, in in our I don't know, it's kind of difficult to use that kind of terms. Come on, you can do it. Keep in mind your product. <laughs> the competitive. Example: Coca Cola and Pepsi. You cannot say that. Okay, so Coca Cola is not. Coca-Cola is the competitive threat, is a competitive threat for Pepsi or vice versa, right? Uh -huh. Pepsi is a competitive threat for Coca-Cola. About the, 
targeted sample, um, you could use models and say, we, we should try a targeted sample. What's the difference between targeted and random sample? Because we're just remember, we're talking about people. Sample is a group of people mm -hmm. that you're taking out of your um, targeted niche of market. So if I'm producing a cell phone, uh, I was giving this example before, you're producing a pink cell phone with a mirror on the screen a pink cell phone with a mirror on the screen. So what's your target niche of market? And so <laughs> would you select, would you select a random sample? You know, anybody, hey, come here, taste, test, test this cell phone, test this cell phone. Or would you go just for women? Women. <laughs> Okay, that's a target. That's a targeted sample. In in that example, you couldn't use a random sample of people, right? So yeah. make a sentence using the example. You know, think about it. That's the whole point. Okay. After finding the definition, just build the sentences. Okay. Okay. Uh, Okay, did, did you find the definitions? Yes. yes. Did you yes. build did you build the sentences? No. Mm, the sentences now, not, not yet. <laughs> that's the that's the only thing we're doing right now. Build okay. the sentences, okay? About that the concepts or no, use the words targeted sample. Ah, okay. random sample, competitive threat. Mm -hmm. okay. A competitive thread for Microsoft is Apple. Edit. Keep going. I'll be here if you need me. Okay. No, aquí no van a ver. Va a ser un poquito más. Bueno, me aviso. Lo ven mejor, ¿no? Sí. Cada vez que yo tengo un error, cuando, cuando yo hago las aplicaciones, esta palabra es bien común. Un competitive thread for my is Apple. Okay. Uh, start your sample for for a video game. The target. Podemos ocupar el artículo aquí. Target sample for a video game is a a group of uh, teenagers from 16 and 20, no, 16 and 70 years old. Yeah. No separado. Target. 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 No, pero que aquí para que tenga más sentido sí. The effective target example. Yeah. 
A person group, person, persons group, person group, como es un grupo de personas, person, a group of people, a group of people, mm. a people of different ages. Difference, 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 Def difference, no. Se me equivocado gramaticalmente aquí. Difference, F. Oh, no, sorry, it's okay. Yes, different. I thought I was unmuted. Okay. Okay, I think we're ready. Pero tira como mal. Really? Ah, no, pero... No, quizás es, es cosa de... Yeah, it's, it's two Fs. Two Fs. Two Fs. Two Fs. Uh -huh. Fs. <laughs> pues sí. Uh -huh. Ajá, okay. acaba. Difference edges. Un base, es, ese concepto nos costó un poco en este contexto entenderlo. Hmm. Unbiased. 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 Con T termina. Unbiased. Yeah. It's in past. Okay, let's go back. Okay, please go to your chat. Wait, let's wait for the others. Yes, okay, we're back. So go to your chat and share your definitions. I need four definitions on the chat, the Zoom chat. Okay, let me see your definitions. Okay. Product made for people who is 22, 20 to 40 years old. Product made for people who is 20 to 40 years old. Wait, um, that's your definition of of unbiased no the definition of each term targeted sample Target. random sample <laughs> but what was, sample. what what was that motorcycle oh okay a niche of market is in a focus group a niche of market okay that's a target targeted targeted sample a targeted sample of her product is focused for young people, 18 plus. Okay. Subliminal. Sublim subliminal. Okay, what else, what else? Yeah, we said targeted sample is, is who your product is intended to. Who are you aiming to with your product? Okay, keep copy going. Page. Copy paste. 
copy paste Sorry. Sorry. The same page. <laughs> <laughs> Resultado de imagen para random sample. What? Oh, oh. By Wikipedia. A simple random sample. La encontré mejor como una imagen y cuando la cambié me salió con todo y él. 25 employees being chosen out of a hat from a company of 250 employees. In this case, the population is all 250 employees. And the same is random because each employee has an equal chance of being chosen. Okay. Yeah, you choose at random, you choose being very specific on the profile. Okay, on the profile that you expect to get. Okay, very good. So we have random and targeted. Competitive threat. What is competitive threat? How do you define competitive threat? The external factors that can affect your product, like competitors, like... Uh, but this uh, is very specific, Fernando. We're, we're only talking about competitive threats. Okay. Uh-huh. Just who is your main competitor? Competitor. Mm -hmm. Or what products are the competitor's threats on your product? It is a risk of competition. A risk of competition. Okay. Between products or between companies? Yeah. Right. We made a clear example there in a group Coca Cola versus Pepsi. Right. Pepsi probably with the same product. Yeah, it could be the same product always or the same line of business. And the last one, everybody was like, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> what is unbiased? Unbiased. Unbiased. Oh, that. Be chosen. What is the uh, definition of unbiased? I didn't get it, Johnny. Um, bio, I don't remember. Is it... Come on, go to the chat. Go to the chat. What is the definition of unbiased? Unbiased is... Okay. It's like, um, this implies... Uh, like a freedom selection? Freedom of election? Um, yeah. Freedom of speech? Having an expected value equal to a population parameter being estimated. Mm, I'm lost. I got lost. Okay. That's- Is this a process teacher? On binaries is a process for the communication, the offers, and offering entregas for the people and, and, the, and the customers. And the, the clients. Hmm. But I found it as a synonym of an impartial impartial that's a, the synonym so what do you understand by being impartial sandra what do you think is being un, in, impartial um, all can be chosen mm -hmm. Sandrita? definition is showing up per, per, per to this for on against Sometimes impartial. Okay, a prejudge to prejudge, prejudge, prejudge. Pre but you're saying pre produce, produce. I can't remember the pronunciation of that word. Prejudice, 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 prejudice. Mm -hmm. 
prejudice. I, I found that on on base on base. Oh, <laughs> an on base sample can be an accurate representation of the entire population. Come again, Alexander. An unbased sample can be an accurate representation of the entire population. Oh, in this context. Okay, can you send it? That sounds good. In this context, okay. that's the meaning, yeah. Okay, so it's relative, right? Uh, prejudice. Did I say prejudice? I forgot already. Prejudice, prejudice, prejudice. Okay, so without prejudice, you chose you choose people randomly. Okay, without prejudice, did you say okay? This guy is fat. This guy is thing. I don't. No, no, no. I need that woman. This she's beautiful. I'm gonna have it on the sample group. No, no, no prejudice. Okay, you don't set your mind to what you want. Okay, now give me the sentences. Were you able to build sentences with these words? Targeted sample, random sample, competitive threat, unbased, unbiased, unbiased. Mm -hmm. Anybody, somebody, Jocelyn, where are you? I'm here, but Okay. I write three sentences on, on the chat. On the chat. Yes, uh, Fernando sending. Excellent. A competitive thread for Microsoft is Apple. Uh -huh. The effective targeted sample for a video game is a group of teenagers from 15 to 17 years old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A random sample could be a group of people of different ages, you don't need the S, of different ages. Good. Anybody else? Another example with these words? No? Okay. Let's keep going. Now is your turn. We need to organize a plan to run a focus group to assess customers' perception of the new product you design on, on the first lesson, right? And this will be simpler. This will be simpler because all you have to do is make up the date, the number of focus groups, the number of participants per group, the location, a hotel maybe, the type of test, now, from the list of tests, monadic, use test, what test are you going to use? The number of items in the questionnaire. So remember, at the end, you have to conduct a survey to, to get their feedback. That's the most important part in this process, to get their feedback after the focus group is, is done. And here, you will present this to the class right now. Um, antes de continuar, eh, no tengo a... Uh, no tengo a, a Juan y hasta a él le tocaba quedarse ahora 10 minutos. ¿Quién se quiere quedar? Who wants to stay? Okay, I'm going to have to choose someone. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Johnny, would you like to stay again? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Okay, we stay just for 10 minutes. Thank you, Jenny. Okay, so let me split you again. We're working on page 23, number seven, exercise seven. So surprise me, guys. I know you're very good, so surprise me. I know wait, you... wait, wait, uh -huh. wait a minute. Uh, in this case, we have to create a, like a survey, making questions and answers. No. You have to organize, to plan the whole thing, the focus group. Okay, ya hiciste el diseño del producto, ya tenés el prototipo. Ahora vas a crear varios grupos focales donde 
vas a definir cuántos grupos focales crees, cuántas personas van a ganar por cada grupo focal, en qué local lo vas a hacer, nombrar el local, inventátelo, ¿ok? ¿Cuándo lo vas a hacer? Ponerle fecha al evento, ¿ok? Eh, ¿Cuántos productos vas a llevar al grupo, a cada grupo focal? Dependerá de cada, cuántas personas habrá en cada grupo. Um, <coughs> y cuántas preguntas va a tener el cuestionario. Todo eso está en la página 23. ¿Qué tipo de test vas a hacer? ¿Qué tipo de test vas a hacer con las personas? ¿Ok? Y por último, lo más importante, y si pueden escribir un par de preguntitas ahí, de number of items in the questionary, ¿cuántos ítems va a tener el questionary, el cuestionario de feedback? ¿Ok? That's basically it. So, let's get together one more time and build this up. Uh, al final van a presentar sus resultados de esta planeación okay, a la clase. Ok, really quick. Algo sencillo, chicos. Let's do it together. Claudia, are you there? Hello. Claudita, can you hear me? Hola, Claudia, no sé si me escucha, está ahí. Te le van a designar. Pues. Okay. Pues sí. Idea, yes. Aquí está una idea, por favor. Guys, I'll stand for a minute, okay? Yeah. Just that one. Again, I can't run a focus cruise to ask a customer. No, 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 You can choose like, uh, I don't know, two or three groups. Yes. This group mm -hmm. maybe uh, can be like uh, 10 participants. Mm -hmm. This focus group of 10 participants. One with, with women, different ages. Another one with men, different age too. And the last one with in the mix. All together, different age. I don't know if you agree. Uh, yes, I can hear you very well because I had some issue with my internet. But as you mentioned, uh, 10 participants, we will have an... Three focus groups? Mm -hmm. Three focus groups, women, Men's and mix. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The location. Uh, on the beach. Like a, yeah. Uh, you're amazing. Yeah. The location. Oh, get it in the surf city. Surf city. city. <laughs> yeah, okay. because. It's a trending topic. We can use it in our in in our case. We can get a plus to get an, yes, an image type of test. Okay. Um, I don't remember well. But it's like, no, no, no. Is the no, the other one that they test it? Uh, they test. Uh, testing. Use test. Use test. Use test. Yeah. Use test. Okay. The number of items. 
in the questionnaire. Uh, I don't know. I don't like the questions at all. Well, for the question, you must get 10 questions at least. 10 questions. Or oh, have you ever seen a questionnaire which has uh, five or four items? I, no, right? I'm the kind of person that answer question is boring and I hate that. I prefer dynamic questions. Like, yes. uh, uh, for example, if you want to measure, uh, measure. measure a product, uh, for example, uh, if you have uh, uh, cevada or chata and everything else, you can choose. Uh, they say the you say the people, hey, there is the the drinks. Go ahead, take it. There are and, the drinks. There are the drinks, and go ahead, take it, and you you see how many questions. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Don't worry. Okay, the number of items in a questionnaire. Remember, there are questionnaires with at least 10 questions, right? That's like the minimum. That is the minimum. Yeah, it's a general rule. When you do that questionnaire, uh, if the questionnaire is very long, you don't, you don't want to, to do it. So you your, your answers are are random uh, are careless. It's, it's ineffective. Careless. It's careless. So that 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 service doesn't work for right. Forget the, that's uh, a good point. So I think the I service think, are not effective. Are not effective effective. For uh, 20 questions. <laughs> Mm -hmm. the shoe store of the company will be in location where you will have the um, focus groups okay mm. five groups of 10 people each 50 people in a building but we we did, we are thinking about about it. Uh, maybe each group for for one day in different days, not in the same day. Oh, okay. For example, the, from Monday to Friday, one group per day. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay, keep it up. Remember, you need to present this to the class and give your reasons. Why did you select only five groups? Okay. What you what you just told me, that's great. Okay. Good change. Good change. Good. Style. Good style. Oh, improve. No, does, improve do you consider the product improve? Or enhance? No. Do you What's consider... the difference between enhance and improve? What is the difference between compare and improve? No, enhance. Enhance and improve. Yeah. No, they're synonyms. Ah, okay. Yeah, they're synonyms. Hmm. Actually, enhance is mejorado or mejorada, and improve is a verb. Verb is a substantive. Mm -hmm. Adjective. Right. Okay. So, do you consider the product? We have this actually. Uh, how many focus groups will you run? Three. Three focus groups. 
Number, number of participants per group, six per group. Six per group. Mm -hmm. A park. Yes. Okay. Day of test, uh, the day of the test, B A Y. <laughs> the day of the test. Ah, the day. I use test. Wait, uh, wait, so type of test. The type of test. The type of test. Uh -huh. It's the use test, okay? And number of items in the questionnary. How many items are there in the questionary? Remember Five. that? Yeah, the, uh, the, minim mm, the minimum Five. is 10. The minimum questions in a questionary are hey. 10. Ah, it's okay. like like something okay. for the for forma the to format it's a format thing okay okay good minimum too. Right. Um, Okay, ready? Alan, Jose, Roberto, and Jocelyn. If you may start, please. Thank you. Go ahead, Jocelyn. <laughs> you always do the same. You, every group you are on is the same. Go ahead. <laughs> Ladies first. Yes, Ladies first. <laughs> Ladies first, yeah. <laughs> Okay, uh, Jose Antonio, could you be so kind to uh, share the, the screenshot that we were working, please? Hey. Um, What's okay. that? Need your help. <laughs> I don't know. Well, Okay, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, well, our focus group in this case, we select the product that is Umbrella Lollipox, that is the product that Alan created with his team. And in this, in this case, the number of focus group will be for three products, and one for men's, one for women's, and one for will be mixed. Um, the number of participants per group will be wait, 10 wait, wait, participants. Wait, 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 wait. Repeat. One for men, one for women. One for men, one for women. Yes, I have an S, sorry. Okay. The number of participants per group will be 10 participants and the location will be Sword yeah. City. Okay. Why, why surf? We, we use is oh, well. Keep going. I'm sorry. I will make the questions at the end. I'm sorry. No, continue. Sorry. No, no, no. Please, please continue. keep going. I, I'm not. Keep going. Keep going. Uh, okay. The type of test that we use will be use test. And you know that our product is Umbrella Lollipox. So we want that the people test our product and they can mention what is the flavor that it likes the more. And the number of items in the questionnaire will be 10 items. Good, great. Okay. So why three group three focus groups? Too much. Hmm? Alan? Too much. I will say too few. If you're doing what? the, because you're doing the event at Surf City. Yes. Now, that, think, but... think, move to that moment. But, but it's not the launch of the product. Uh -huh. Instead, we I are know. trying to test it. I know. So think, you see, all of these things you need to um, consider before determining the location of, of the um, test, right, of these uh, focus groups. Um, because 
being realistic, if you go to the beach with this amazing product, you know, lollipops, lollipops with um, alcohol, people will love them. I mean, at the beach, anybody will like to test them. So think about it. Go to that moment. And but every that's, that's the main idea. We want to, to, to get the attention, but not give the product. Hey, that's interesting, right? Right. Now, I have, well, another, I have another question for you. Will it be randomly, people will be randomly selected? Um, we don't decide it, but in my case, I guess it will be a good idea to, to get uh, a different age. Different ages. Yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. Okay. Yeah, very good. Serve City. Trademarks, remember. Trademarks. Hey, I like that product, the way you visualized it. That was really good. <laughs> okay. We still have a space for two more groups really quick. Um, Ada, Fatima, Fernando, and Sandra. Hey, good. Well, well our product is the orthopedic shoes. Uh, sorry for the, for my, my dog is barking, so <laughs> sorry. Uh, uh, the number of focus groups is five. Uh, we, we have a type of sample in with uh, people that work in a specific areas like medicine, uh, students of medicine, uh, people that need that choose. And we have five categories. Uh, 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 each category, uh, we, we, we have a, a group for each category of team people. And uh, the type of steps is the use that we need that, uh, that people uh, uh, choose a, a shoes with, uh, with their uh, for the style. Uh -huh. or their size. Uh -huh. Their size and they, uh, we, we are planning that they uh, bring that shoes and use uh, for two weeks, and when the, in the next lead, in the next season, uh, when when they come back, uh, we 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 are we are going to get the to, results. To get the results about or conduct the, the, conduct the questionnaire. Yes, um, our number of item of the questionnaire is twenty questions, uh, and some of the questions are. Uh, uh, what was the experience using the that shoes? Uh, the uh, the the shoes keep the the fit uh, with a normal uh, smell. I I, I think. Uh, <laughs> what was the shoes comfortable? Were the shoes uh, were, were the, the shoes comfortable? comfortable. That is uh, in, uh, another question. Uh, the, the location is should choose the store of the company because when the people is trying the, the shoes, we they, they have they have to to see seeing them see them como see them como sería que se quieren ver en el espejo pues la gente con los oh. zapatos se ve en el espejo yes they have to ver y... they have to try them on they have to try them on. And that is the the location appropriately for, for that. Excellent. Okay. Hey, very good actually. Um yeah. Having them tested, testing the, the shoes for two weeks, coming back, giving their feedback. Yeah. Okay. That's a good idea. Just keep in mind and later we may talk about this. I don't know. I can remember if it is on the group on the book. But thank you. Um, so it's very important to consider what are you going to give to the to the sample, right? To the focus group. Are you going to invite them ice cream, a coffee after the, the session is over? Are you going to give them a um, a prototype, like in this example, right? Did you like the shoes? Okay, yes, you can take them home with you, right? 
<laughs> it's like, yes, thank God. Please take them. Okay. Good, guys. It was my pleasure. Thank you very much for being with me today. Uh, it's Friday. Have some rest during the weekend. Hopefully, you can rest. We can rest. Let me do the attendance one more time. Ada Susena Cáceres Mendoza. Present teacher. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Alan Christopher Abrego Rizuela. Present teacher. Carolina Ivette Romero Avelino. Claudia Maricela Solano Crespin. Elvin Alcides Eguizabal Martinez. Present. Y Fátima y Fegenia López Ramos. Present. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Isela Liliana Miranda Espinosa. Johnny Vladimir Portillo Chávez. Present. José Antonio Cubillas Hernández. Present. Juan Marcos Guzmán. Carla Yanet Amaya Herrera. Present. Miriam Carolina Mozo Valdés. Present. René Alfonso Madrid Escalante. Roberto Luis Umaño Arellana. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Miguel Ángel Paz Landa Verde. And Rina Marisabel Alvarez de Chavez. Present. Thank you. Okay, nos quedan dos minutos, casi dos minutos, un minuto. Fernando, eh, os estabas quejando de que mucho el ruido. Eh, ¿Qué crees? Wow. <risa> Lleva como media hora aquí rogándome que le sobe y le sobe el lomo y que no. Y últimamente, <risa> últimamente yo creo que ya nos cansamos de estar en la casa todos. Eh, creo que es algo normal, ¿verdad? pero ese sí está desesperadísimo. Por salir. Me, me, trae, me trae los juguetes, fíjate, y quiere que, que juegue con él acá. O sea, ay, ayer que venía a trabajar, él estaba aquí en la silla sentado y yo. Jamás, <risa> había, jamás había hecho eso. O sea, me está asustando, te lo juro. His name is Max. He's two Max. years old. <risa> two years old, but he's like a kid. Sí. Es un husky. Yeah, he's oh, a husky. Yes. Es un husky, no es un malamute. Si fuera malamute, ya me hubieran echado de la casa de tanto pelo que bota. Exagerado. <risa> Pero así mm. toca. Eh, y sí, puchi, que es como tener otro hijo, hombre. Lo llegas a querer igual. So, okay, guys. Thank you very much. I'll see you on Monday. Rest. Descansen Monday. mucho. Feliz noche. Bye. Bendiciones. Bye, thank you. Bye, bye. Good night. Sí, ¿por qué no se me sale? What? <laughs> okay, Johnny. Wait a minute. Creo que Claudia okay. se no durmió en la clase otra vez. A ver. Igual Don Roberto va manejando. Okay, so let's do it. Let's do something here. Hold on. Let's practice a little bit. Okay, Jenny, I would like to do an experiment with you, if you don't mind. Let's practice together, okay? We're going to have a short interview to determine where we are standing, okay? Simple. Okay. Tell me about yourself. Mm. Okay, I am a, a kind of person. Um, mm. That's him speak a lot. <laughs> mm. I, I didn't get that. I didn't get that. Okay, start all over. Empezar de nuevo. Start all over. Relájate, relax, relax, relax. Si es un, digamos que es una entrevista de trabajo, ¿ok? Pero quiero que te relajes, tranquilo, ¿ok? Tell me about yourself. Smile. Ok, I, I like, I uh, kind of people uh, that I like to, uh, to study. I like to read a lot to know 
about technology. I like the technology. I like to resolve problem in problem they're presenting in in the life. Um, and I think that uh, if you want to to be someone in the life in the life, and you have to set a goal, a goal, and you have to set a objective because you can go to any any. Uh, anywhere if you don't have a way that is so important the goals and see what you want in your life and the other things come alone uh, in, in the words, uh, I think. Okay. You want to tell me about an achievement, something that you have accomplished in your life. Accomplish. Alcanzar. Dime algo que has alcanzado en tu vida. Tell me uh, about something that you have accomplished. Finish my career. Okay. Um, okay. It was so difficult because I had to work for pace the this you say the scholarly <laughs> scholarly and and it's it's not saying to only study that uh, then study and worse is more difficult because your time is short for study and only has the night. <laughs> but I great that I finished. And I am so happy for that. And I am trying to, mm -hmm. to what, be better. What career, what did you graduate of? What did you graduate of? I finished uh, that the career of accounting. Oh. I graduated as an accountant. Yeah. Okay. I graduated as an accountant. How long ago? Uh, five, five years old. Five years five, ago? Five years ago. Five years ago. Oh my God. How old are you? I am thirty. I'm thirty. I'm thirty. You can say that. 30. I'm thirty. I'm thirty. Okay. Good. I'll send you this so you can study it. Okay. Después de la sesión o cuando tengas un chance. Bueno, mañana que este video, ¿no? Revise el video yeah. y escuchar las preguntas que te hice o que te he hecho. Y quiero que identifiques tú mismo. Ok. Date la tarea de escucharte. Y, y bueno, no, es que me estaba preguntando esto. Y dije esto, pero él escribió esto en la pantalla. Ok. <ríe> so, porque yo no estaba escribiendo tus áreas de oportunidad. So, <coughs> perdón, se me está quedando la voz ahí. Este, solo te escribí la manera correcta de lo que estabas tratando de decir. So give me one second. ¿Cómo apareces, Johnny? Aquí está Johnny, permíteme. Let's continue. 
Ok. So, está, no estaba escribiendo tus áreas de oportunidad, sino que estaba escribiendo lo que yo creí que estabas tratando de decir. ¿Ya? Okay, so, the, the correct way to say it. So when you watch the video uh, tomorrow, you can analyze and say, okay, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. And I said, what did I say? Así va a decir. Y eso es lo que estaba queriendo decir. Pero, ¿qué dije? No, ¿qué dije? <laughs> ¿Ya? <risa> so, es para que yeah. tú te critiques tú mismo, acordate, eso es muy importante. Y este ejercicio que acabas de hacer, hazlo tú solo, todos los días. Y bueno, yo cuando, ya llegando a conocerte un poco más, yo creo que lo haces. Me llega, me llega súper bien. Ok, um, common questions. Common questions. Um, where do you see yourself in five years? Where do you see yourself in five years? 2026. In another job. In another job. My my, and, and I want my own company. What? Really? That's good. Yeah. Visionary. A visionary. Work That's really good. Work for myself. I like that. Very good. So you see yourself. I see myself owning a company. I see myself owning a company. Now, when you are applying for a job, that could be a good answer, actually. That could be a good answer. But the interviewer will ask you, how are you planning to own your own company? Do you have a plan to own your own company already? You got it? Yeah. ¿Sí me entiendes? Dependiendo yeah. de la respuesta que des, bueno, yo como entrevistador, eso suelo hacer. Preguntarle a las personas, va a ser lo que me van respondiendo, voy sacando más preguntas, es como seguir el hilo de la conversación. Me decís que quieres tener una empresa, yo te preguntaría, ajá, and what are you doing to achieve that goal? ¿Qué estás haciendo para alcanzar esa meta? Y ahí vamos, ¿verdad? Ok. Ahora, si la pregunta me, me lleva a entender, como que me digas, por ejemplo, you know what, in six months, I will have my own company already, because I already have the money, I just need to work a little bit with you to get more money. Si me entiendes, si me das a entender que en seis meses ya no vas a estar conmigo, mm. Mejor no te contrato. Yes. No. Yes. ¿Ves? Eso es bien yeah. delicado. O sea, a veces una palabra te puede hacer perder el, um, la entrevista. Bien triste. Ok, yo te digo, ok. But, you know, sacrifices. Uh, that's all it takes. So, um, yeah. Ok. So, let's leave it here. Hey, muchas gracias por quedarte, Johnny, de verdad. Y de nuevo, cualquier cosa, ahí estoy para tenerte la mano. Sí, me puedes escribir y si necesitas ayuda en algo, ¿ok? Sí, pero... Good, good night, Johnny. Bye bye. Good night.